Hey guys, it's me, Keandra, aka The Curly Key. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to do three strand twists. Um, I love this style. It lasted me about a week, maybe a couple days more than a week, and then I put it up into this. So this is actually my old three strand twist, just put into two puffs. Um, if you'd like to see a tutorial on this look, then just let me know, put it in the comment section below, and then I will get on a tutorial for that. Um, until then, we are going to start by, I'm going to tell you guys what products I use and show them to you so that you can see what they look like. Um, so first I just have a spray bottle of water. Um, I start on freshly washed hair, I'll say that in the video, but um, I just got this bottle from Sally's for a couple bucks, I think it was like two dollars maybe, and it just has water in it, there's nothing else in this. And then um, for my leave-in conditioner, I use Carol's Daughter's, what is this, the Black Vanilla Hydrating Conditioner, and it looks like this, if I can get it to focus, there we go. And then I use this as my leave-in. I put this actually in my hair in the shower, and then I wrap my hair in a cotton towel, or t-shirt, sorry. Um, and then once I'm ready to style, I just take the t-shirt off, and my hair already has the conditioner in it. So then for my oil, I just use olive oil. I don't have the bottle in here, it's in the kitchen, but um, any sort of olive oil or coconut oil, whichever oil you like to use, I just prefer olive oil in the summer. Um, so for my styler, we're going to use the Eden Body Works, their Coconut Shea Natural Curl Defining Cream. And this is what it looks like. This stuff is great. And then the only styling tools I use during this video are my Denman brush um, for detangling each section and then my pick at the end for fluffing. And that's about it. So with all of that said, let's get into the video. So as I said before, I already washed my hair and can put the conditioner in in the shower. So right now I'm just applying the olive oil to this section, making sure to rake it all the way through, focusing on the ends and making sure I coat every strand. Next I'll go in with the styling cream. I use a very generous amount. Um, Make sure you focus on getting those ends. Your ends are the oldest and weakest part of your hair. So when you're styling or pretty much doing anything, you want to make sure you focus and take very good care of your ends. Next, I'm going to go in with my Denman brush and just brush through this section. This is optional. Um, if you've already detangled, you don't have to do this. I like to do it every once in a while with the Denman brush just to smooth down the hair some more and eliminate some more frizz but it's optional you don't have to do it I usually skip it now I'm just sectioning my hair into three sections and starting the twist so this is the actual underhand method and so as you see I'm just twisting the hair under instead of over so we take this strand here twist it underneath the other two and then move the other remaining two strands into your original hand. So it'll just show you again. Switch it over, grab it, and then bring the other two over. And then it's kind of like it just goes in a circular motion. And you're twirling the strands around each other. So I'll speed this up throughout this twist and then I'll show you the overhand method. So once I get to the end of the twist, I like to split it into two strands instead of three and then just two strand twist the rest of the way down and then twirl it around my finger to make sure that the curl at the end holds and my twist doesn't come unraveled. So to do overhand, we split it into three sections just like we did before, but instead of going under, you're going to go over. So I'll start out this twist and then I'll show you guys in slow motion how I um, twist overhand which is pretty much the exact same thing except you're going over the top instead of under the other two strands. So I confuse myself a bit when I get ready to show you guys how to do it, but I get it eventually. It comes across, you latch on, and then bring these other two over.
bring this far strand over top grab it with your other hand and then just move the other two strands to the other hand and then it just goes in a twirling motion again I'll speed that up I'm ready are you ready I'm ready are you ready I'm ready are you ready and this is what they look like when they're finished so I left the twist in for two days to dry it is two days later and I'm just taking off my satin scarf filling in where my scarf was on my forehead um, if you're gonna lay your edges don't do this don't fill in around your scarf because that's where your edges will lay and it'll just mix in the makeup and make it all cakey I'm just gonna take these bobby pins out once the bobby pins are out, I just run a little bit of olive oil through my hair and onto my hands to eliminate frizz. And then we'll begin to unravel. So I usually just twirl the twist in the opposite direction that I twisted in around my finger. And then I'll separate where it naturally comes apart. Once I have unraveled it and I have my three sections, I usually go ahead and separate them into three or four more sections. So this is what... The three strands look like and then I'm just gonna go in and separate them the more you separate the more volume you'll have but it also means that your style probably won't last as long because the curls aren't gonna stay intact as much some people like to separate only once or twice and then leave the style in for a pretty long time my hair usually lasts pretty long so I don't um, just separate once or twice I separate three or four times because I like the more voluminous look so here is what it looks like when everything is separated I'm just going in and fluffing with my hands to my liking and then I'll pick up my handy dandy pick and we'll start picking out the root when you start picking you want to make sure you only pick at the roots don't go all the way through your strands and definitely do not pick at your ends or you'll lose the curl pattern that you twisted up so just stay at the roots and it'll give you the lift and volume you need and you can just go all the way through picking until you get the desired shape and look you like. And here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have another video next week. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.